In today's video, let me try to explain how to set initial values for finding the minimum and the maximum value based on whether the number of elements n is odd or even. So I will use the list 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, and 8, which have 9 elements, which make an odd. So for an odd n scenario, we first set initial values. We start by setting the both the minimum and the maximum to the value of the first element, which is with the first element 3, we set is uh, both minimum and maximum to 3. And then we process the remaining elements in the pairs 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, and 6, 8. And then we process the rest of the elements in the pairs, which starting from the second element. Let's talk about pair processing steps. The first pair, we compare 1 and 4 to determine who is the local minimum and the maximum. So the local minimum is 1, and the local maximum is 4. And then we compare 1 with the current minimum 3. Then, then we update the minimum to 1. And then we compare the 4 with the current maximum 3. And then we update the maximum to 4. In the second pair, the local minimum is 1, and the local maximum is 5. So we remain the minimum 1, and then we compare 5 with the current maximum 4, and we update the maximum to 5. And in the third pair, the local minimum is 2, and the local maximum is 9. So we remain the minimum 1, and we compare 9 with the current maximum 5, and then we update the maximum to 9. And in the fourth pair, the local minimum is 6, and the local maximum is 8. So we remain the minimum to 1, and we compare 8 with the current maximum 9. We still remain the maximum 9. Let's talk about a scenario when n is even. So for an even, we consider if we have one less element in this list, which make it 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, with n is equals 8. And first we do the initial comparison. We compare the first two elements to establish the initial minimum and the initial maximum. We compare 3 and 1. So the initial minimum is 1, and the initial maximum is 3. And then we process the remaining elements in pairs. The pairs 1, 4, 5, 9, and 2, 6, they have similar steps as the all scenario for each pair, which starting with the third and fourth element and come on. So after we set in the initial value based on the first element, we can process the elements in pairs. So this method optimizes the number of comparison we needed to find the minimum and the maximum values. So this is very uh, efficient approach, which utilizes the few comparison than if we check in each element against the current minimum and maximum separately. Now let's try to analyze the number of comparisons required for this optimized approach to find both minimum and maximum values. So the initial step is we set the both minimum and maximum to the value of the first element, which is zero comparison needed to establish the first element as both minimal and maximal. And then we process the remaining eight elements in pairs, which is from the second element to the last one. So the number of pairs we have, which is floor of n over 2, which is equals floor of 9 over 2, which is equals four pairs. So we have zero initial comparison plus one comparison within the pair to find the local minimum and the local maximum, and two to compare this with the global minimum and the global maximum. So it's total three comparison count per pair for pairs three times four, because we have four pair, which equals 12 when the pairs n is four, right? So we have 12 total comparison. When n is 8, we have an even number of elements. So first, initial setup, we compare the first two elements to determine the initial minimum and the initial maximum, which is count one comparison. And then we process the six remaining elements in pairs from the third element to the last one, which is 8 minus 2 divided by 2, which equals three number of pairs. It contains one initial comparison with the pair to find the local minimum and the local maximum and two comparison to compare this with the global minimum and global maximum, which is count three comparison per pair, which is three times three equals nine total comparison for pairs. And the last, we have to count total one plus nine, which is equal 10 comparisons in total. So the total number of comparison is at most three times floor n over two. When n is odd, the floor is nine divided by two, which is four, which leading to three times four, which equals 12 comparison. And when n is even, 
floor is 8 over 2, which is equals 4, which leading to 1 plus 3 times 4 minus 1, which is equals 10 comparisons. And since the floor of n divided by 2 counts the initial pairs too, right? But with two fewer in the pairing series. So this analysis underscores how this method leverages pair comparison effectively to reduce the overall computational expenses by maximizing information extracted per comparison.